modulates Do you have any stories about how people are using the ocarina? As far as stories of like it's what people are telling us what they have done, I think people are actually getting together to play this. And there's actually more of a traditional like music feel to it all. For example, not only do you blow into the microphone, touch the phone in various fingerings to 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 make the notes, um, you hold it like an ocarina, but also the way that many people actually learn to play melodies on the ocarina is to actually go to the SMUEL website at ocarina.smule.com where there are now something like 800 different tablatures for SMUEL's ocarina. And you actually don't need to learn, you know, you actually don't need to actually have known any music or have any musical training at all prior to this. You just go and you actually follow the fingering and simple timing information and you're actually able to play, you know, fairly really sophisticated melodies, um, many of which I guess I think people already know, which helps a lot. So, for example, someone who's had the ocarina, who just got the ocarina, never played music before, can go to the website and learn, say, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in five minutes, and can learn, say, the Zelda theme song in in an hour, um, and the next day they, they'd probably be demoing it to their friends and family. And I think the demoing aspect is actually happening quite a bit. I, I, we get the sense from the feedback that, that we've gotten is that people are not only, they're, they're actually practicing, sometimes alone, and sometimes with their friends and family, and they're also actually doing, they're actually doing performances with people, short performances that they can just take their phone out at any time, whether they're waiting for in line or they're at home or they're actually gathering for the holidays. And... You know, they're actually performing this as just an, as an instrument that they've actually practiced, um, and now they're bringing and sharing with other people. And I think we've also gotten feedback that people are are actually using this over, you know, people I think use this over Thanksgiving to, you know, they, they, people are learning holiday songs also available on the forum, and and they're they're playing, you know, playing together family. But I think partly out of you know the fact that it is an instrument. I think also partly out of the fact that it's 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 a it's perhaps a, a novelty to actually play <laughs> melodies out of your phone, um, and I, I think it's we hope that it, it is something that is that is physical and that that actually encourages kind of face to face you know interactions. And I I've seen a lot of uh, uses of technology to to bring music to people with disabilities you know, using tools like Ableton Live with controllers and I think I, one of the, I was wondering with Ocarina if there was anything like that going on since you know you don't have to intonate the same way as you do on a physical instrument you can push the button down and blow on the uh, on the phone and I was just wondering if anybody was doing anything along those lines yet oh um actually we have not any had any specific cases except one that is very memorable um in one of our reviews one of our our users said that this is the ocarina is, is has been has been truly useful to them because they uh, this particular reviewer apparently had muscular dystrophy and that he can actually he or she can actually not pick up heavy instruments to play but they love to play music and they love music but with the iPhone and the ocarina they can they can actually do that and um, and this is actually a, a, a publicly viewable review on on the App Store that one of our one of our users apparently has written. And I don't know if there are many other cases out there other than that, but that one in particular really, you know, really caught our attention, and it's actually very memorable to us. Are you surprised how quickly um, other developers in the race which you're doing? Uh, I was I saw out there that uh, there's uh, the Good Blog created a uh, MIDI to to uh, Ocarina um, yeah. score converter. I saw, I saw that, and I think we, I think at least for me, I'm I'm definitely a little pleasantly surprised, or perhaps pleasantly shocked, um, at how at how this has taken off, and even in the short months since its release. And it's, it's definitely a really good thing. It's you know it's very encouraging, um, not just from kind of the fact that you know this is actually done really well in the App Store, but I think what is really most encouraging to me and many others at Smule is the fact that people are actually playing music with this. 
um, and not just you know people who have played music before, not just people who think of themselves as musicians or composers, but people who don't. And I think you know it's. I think that's. I think both of those are really encouraging to us. That you know you have, like I said, you have people who have never perhaps played music before, or don't think of themselves as being able to you know play musical instruments, actually giving to try and finding it not only easy, but finding it more importantly, you know, expressive musically. I think it is a goal, going back to kind of our earlier question about kind of using technology to to kind of enable new types of expression and in, in interaction. And, and that's that's something we try to do with the ocarina. And, and so far, I think, is the, you know, the results and feedback have been highly positive. So it's that's definitely very encouraging. What's next for Ocarina? We actually have have a number of ideas, I guess, that are on the table for how to extend the Ocarina. Um, and some of those definitely, you know, possibilities include new timbres um, and others and perhaps other ways of kind of leveraging the same type of fingering that people are, are learning. Um, and actually, in the release for an update that's actually coming is the is actually the ability to manually record a piece of a melody that you play on the ocarina. And after you do that, you're able to actually send that to to your friends. And furthermore, there are, once you record it, you can actually archive and upload it to the Smeal server, where currently all the other snippets are 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 stored. And you're able to basically create an account and and create kind of a custom landing page that contains all that allows you to basically showcase and organize uh, various ocarina snippets, and then you can actually share that in a, in a fairly simple but hopefully interesting community. Even you know, bigger question for us is you know, what, where are we going with Smule? In terms of the things that's coming, we we're still trying to figure that out ourselves. You know, we think the future is it's being hopefully Smulean, if I may <laughs> use that word. <laughs> and and being Smulean to us at this point means that, well, it, sh- it should make good use of technology to enable people to do cool things with audio, with sound, and to actually bring to people the idea that, hey, sound is powerful, sound is compelling. And, you know, we want to encourage people to make to themselves make expressive use of that. And I think what's also stimulating is the social aspect, is to, to say now we have this mobile data-enabled device with all this other goodies on it. Um, you know, how, are there new types of social interactions that we can, we can enable or improve with this technology? And, and, and I think another aspect of being stimulating is, is kind of this physical metaphor in that, you know, we... We want to make things as physical and as as possible, um, rather than making them more virtual. And I think that goes really back to, to this key point that you brought up: is you know, I, I think with any technology, it's you, you can really change. You stand to change the way people do and think, either for the better or for the worse. And you know, I think I don't I don't think anybody like intentionally <laughs> makes use of technology for for the worse. Um, but I, but sometimes that that is a very real, I think, danger. And we we really want to to try to change the way people think and do and play with with technology and with sound, and and hopefully for the better. And and that's that's really kind of a mission we have here at Spiel. What I can tell you is 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 just that is that we are we're actually continuing to explore for ourselves what it means to be Spielian. And we hope to bring more, hopefully, good, fun, smillion things um, to the world. Well, it sounds like a pretty, uh, pretty tall order, but I like it. <laughs> it is, it is a tall order, and uh, we, I think, it's, the fun is actually, the fun is in the doing. I appreciate your, you know, taking the time to talk, and having such thoughtful and detailed answers, and I think it will inspire people who who listen to this to, uh, you know, get more involved in the, in their own way with pushing these ideas forward as well. And thank you so much for, for, for your time, Mark.